In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, charge your Titan solar generator using your solar panels. Um, first of all, you need to have your Titan solar generator connected to at least one battery. You need to turn it on. Uh, it can be on either DC or AC-DC. Um, doesn't matter, it just needs to be turned on. Um, also, you need to check the battery voltage in case your meter is not calibrated. Um, if your battery voltage is up around 29, it's not going to charge because your battery is nearly full. In our case, we're at 21.7 volts, so it's low enough that it should charge just fine. Now, in order to charge, we need to connect our solar panels. Um, in my case, I've already connected my solar panel array to these two wires connected to our solar panel adapter. Now if these are connected right and we plug it in, it should charge. Now you can plug this into either set of plugs. There's two MPPT controllers in this generator and either one should work. So we're going to plug this in to that set. Now once you plug it in, it'll take up to 20 seconds for it to start charging. Um, you can tell when it starts charging by reading on the meter these arrows will change from going down to going up and the meter will start blinking and you'll be able to read the charge right there. Now in our case this is not charging so we need to do some troubleshooting. In order to troubleshoot these panels the first thing you need to do is have a meter. It doesn't need to be it can be any meter but I'm going to use this one. This one's a pretty good one and if you happen to have this one you can follow along and um, do exactly what I do. The first thing we need to do is check the voltage open circuit, which is the voltage your panels are putting out. So in order to do that, you turn this knob to V, which is voltage, and then you press the select button until it goes to DC. Until you push that, you're reading AC, which will not work for this. Okay, so now we put this down and we will unplug this and we'll check the voltage. To do that, you'll put the probes, the red one in the red one, and the black one in the black one. Be careful not to touch these. Uh, if you have high voltage, it may shock you. Okay, so in our case, in our case, don't know if you can read that, we have 17.05 volts. Okay, now the Titan solar generator is different than most. It uses a little bit higher voltage, and so we need to have 35 to 145 volts. So our voltage is too low there. And so you need to figure out exactly why that's so low. In our case, I have 200 watt solar panels that I have connected, but I connected these in parallel. And so parallel will not increase the voltage, but it will increase the amps. And so we're gonna have to switch this to series which means you hook the panels negative to positive and then connect it to the wires. So I'm going to change those real quick and come back. Okay, so this is a parallel connection. This is the negative line. We've got a negative from one solar panel and then the negative from the other solar panel going into this branch connector. It's connecting. We could put more panels, but this is connecting them into one line. Um, and then the positive we have the positive from one solar panel and the positive from the other solar panel going in, going into this one line. This is what's called a parallel connection. This, in this configuration, it will increase the amps, but the voltage will not increase. Okay, and with, with this, our voltage was too low. Can you zoom in over here? Okay, so this is the back of the panel and the rating for this panel. Is what we need to look at is the VOC which is currently 21 volts. Um, so that's the most voltage we'll create out of this panel. So if we hook two in parallel, we'll stay at 21 volts, which is under the 35 volts we need for the Titan solar generator. So if we hook these in series, now the voltage of this panel and the second panel will add and we'll be at 41 volts instead of 21, which will then work. So we're gonna reconfigure this in a series configuration. Okay, so to do this, we just basically need to remove this branch connector because this connects in parallel. Let me 
move this one. Okay, now we take a negative and a positive from one solar panel, connect them together, and it doesn't really matter which one, just pick one that'll plug in. You can't do this wrong. Connect that, and then you've got the two remaining wires that you connect in. And now we're connected in a series configuration where we're not going to increase the amps, but we will increase the volts. Now we have it set up in a series configuration, so we're going to now measure the voltage and see if it's within our 35 to 145 volts. Zoom in on that. Again, we have it set to volts on the little meter, the round knob, and we've selected this to DC, so we're reading DC voltage, and we're going to plug this in to our connector to see what our voltage is reading. Okay, so we're at 36.3, which is above 35. It's borderline, but it should work. So now we're going to plug it in to the generator, just like before. Okay, so now, if you've noticed, these arrows are now pointing up, which means we're charging and the watts are reading 54 watts. So we're currently charging at 54 watts. So that did work by um, connecting those in series. It's now working and charging. However, we do have two 100 watt solar panels and it's only charging at 56 watts. So that's a little bit low. So is what you wanna do to check and see uh, if your solar panels, uh, there could be lots of reasons. Maybe we don't have good enough sun. Maybe the solar panels just aren't producing as much as they should. Um, so we need to test and see if the solar panels are putting out the correct. Now we're going to see why we're not putting in the 200 watts that we should, where we're only putting in 55 watts instead of 200. Um, to do that, we need to check the voltage, which we already did, but we'll check it again. Um, the voltage should be uh, the voltage open circuit of the solar panels, which our solar panels are rated at 21 volts each. So in a series, we should be at 42 volts. So again, we set our meter to volts and DC. We measure the volts. Okay, so the voltage is 35.3, so it's a lot lower than it should be. This is likely due to either poor solar panels, dirty solar panels, or not good enough sun. Uh, it could also be a bad connection, so you might want to check every connection in your solar panels uh, and see about that. But if our voltage was high, so we'll assume our voltage was 41, the next thing you'd want to check is the current. It's called the... Um, short circuit current. And so to do that, first of all, is what you want to do is you want to turn your solar panels out of the sun. So I'm going to flip mine over and so that it doesn't spark. Now that we have our solar panels out of the sun, they should not be producing very much power, we need to remove these two clips apart and plug them together. This is called short circuit. The negative goes to the positive. If you did that with the solar panels in the direct sun, you could get a spark when you do that. Now once it's connected, we will turn the solar panels back around so they get sun. Okay, now the panels are turned around and in the sun. So what we do is we take this meter and now we turn it to current. Uh, we have, with this one we have three different settings for two amps, 20 amps, and 100 amps. 
Now our solar panels are supposed to put out between 5 and 6 amps um, when they're short circuited. So we will turn it to 20 amps. We want to be over that 5 amps. So 2 amps would be too low. So we turn it to 20 amps and then we push the select because we got to go to DC again and then you simply clamp this over that line. Okay, so we are putting out 3 amps. So these solar panels are making 3 amps um, which is about half what they should do and their voltage was less. So by doing this we know that the problem is not with the Titan solar generator. It is working just fine. The problem is either we don't have the solar panels in direct sun, we have a bad connection somewhere, or the solar panels just simply can't put out their rated power. Now in this case, I'm actually using solar panels that I have tested quite a bit, and I know that these panels do not put out their rated power. So that's the problem with these panels, is they just are not very good panels. Um, but is what you'd want to do, especially if you have multiple strings, like you have a thousand watts of solar, you'll have two different strings, you want to test each one independently. If one is a lot more powerful than another, then you know you've got a problem with one of those strings. Uh, and that's how you test these to see where the problem is. You can troubleshoot and you can actually go to each solar panel, uh, short circuit, plug both of the panels wires together and measure its current measure its voltage and you can test every single solar panel individually and see if you find one that is weaker or not working correctly um, or it could just simply be that you're like right now we're in the evening time we don't have very good sun uh, those panels are not pointed directly at the sun all these things can contribute to how much power the solar panels are generating